All right, this is CPM Calculus Chapter 6, Number 76. The good news for the small prairie town of Weissme is that the, a new fiber optics plant is about to open. The bad news is that the old quarry is about to close, and many residents will lose their jobs as a result. The population, right, is then predicted to follow the model here after the next few years. So here's the population, um, population of time t. All right, and it's equal to 100 times 4 times 2 to the power of t minus 3 to the t. Distributing this 100 is equal to 400 times 2 to the t minus 100 times 3 to the t. So part A says, using complete sentences, relate the equation for p of t to the changes in industry. Well, we know that, what do we know? New fiber optics plant, right? That means more jobs, new jobs. We also know that the old query is about to close. Old query closing. And that means um, losing jobs. OK? New jobs means more people. Losing jobs means less people. So how would you relate this equation to the changes in um, industry? So using complete sentences, I want you to be able to tell me um, that this positive um, value for the population is re related to the new jobs from the new fiber plant. So the 400 times 2 to the t is equal to, um, let's even delete this. I'm not going to write complete sentences. I want you to. But to explain that the new fiber optic plant creates new jobs, means more people, means 400 times 2 to the t in our population model. Okay. Old query closing means losing jobs, means less people, means negative 100 times 3 to the t in our population model. Okay, so that's where we're getting these. Um, we see adding jobs, more people, and also losing jobs, less people. Okay, so use complete sentences, start with a capital letter and with periods. Part B. Determine when the population will be maximized, right? Algebraically determine when Woisami will have the most people. Use your calculator only for numerical calculations. So that means calculators should not find the derivative. Well, we know the population has a max or minimum when the derivative is equal to zero will tell us critical points, right? And will help us find maximums and minimums. So, what is p prime of t? Well, can we fit it? Yes, we can. So, let's go ahead and start um, here and look. Well, the derivative then, p prime of t, is equal to, well, it's just going to be 400 times 2 to the t times ln of 2, right? That's the first part. Minus 100 times 3 to the t times ln of 3. So that's the derivative, and we want to set this equal to 0, and then solve for t. So let's go ahead and solve this, right? Once this is equal to 0, we can go ahead and move this to the other side, and we can get 400 times 2 to the, let's combine 400 and ln. So this is going to be 400 times ln of 2 times 2 to the t equals to 100 times 3 to the t times ln of 3. Okay, I just moved this to the other side by adding it to both sides. Alright, so now we just want to solve for t. Alright, <clears throat> so what do we need to do first is basically we know that um, we can go ahead and divide both equations by 2 to the t. Okay, that's going to cancel them here and give us, let's move these two in front. So this is going to be 100 times ln of 3 times 3 to the t over 2 to the t. Right? I could do it like this. Equals 400 times ln of 2. So far, so good. Right? 
we're solving for t, so let's go ahead and divide both sides by 100 ln of 3. Divide both sides by 100 ln of 3. These cancel out. We're left with on the right 3t over 2t. Well, this, since they both have the same base, this is just 3 over 2 to the power of t. That's equivalent. Is equal to 400 divided by 100 is just 4 ln of 2 over ln of 3. Okay? So now what we can do is um, how do we solve for t? Well, we can take the natural log of both sides or the log or whatever we want we want. So let's just do ln of both sides. Right? So if we take the natural log of this side, we have to do it to this side as well. And then what does that do for us? Well, that allows us to bring the exponent down, right? That's the power law for logs. So this is the same as t times ln of 3 over 2. And that's equal to ln of 4 times ln of 2 over ln of 3. Now we want to go ahead and divide both sides by... Let's use red again. Let's divide both sides by ln of 3 over 2. And these cancel out. We're left with t alone on the right side is equal to ln of 4 times ln of 2 over ln of 3, all divided by ln of 3 over 2. Okay? So now if you bring out your calculator, you can now... Um, you can now plug this in. I know this looks a little different, but it doesn't really matter. ln of 4 times ln of 2 divided by ln of 3. Close the numerator divided by ln of 3 divided by 2. Okay? Approximate it, get it. t is now 2.8, sorry, 2.28 three and our units are years right because they're telling us the population over the next few years is measured by this equation so this is what we get um, as t now remember this is a critical point it doesn't mean maximum or minimum necessarily we have to check it right so how do we check it we check it by we know that this is our point, right? We draw a number line, 2.283. And we can use the first derivative test, right? If we look at p prime of t, plug in a point here and a point here. So let's try um, 1 and let's try 3. And we know that if p prime of t is increasing and decreasing, that's a maximum. If it's decreasing and increasing, it's a minimum, right? So let's go ahead and test it out. Um, p prime of t, so let's go ahead and say we need to check 1 and 3. So we have p prime of t here at t is equal to 1. p prime of 1 is equal to what? Okay, so plug in 1 here. That's going to give us 400 times 2 to the power of 1 is just 2 times ln of 2 minus 100 times 3 to the power of 1, which is just 3, times ln of 3. Okay, This is going to give us 224.934. The important thing, though, isn't that value as much so as we know it's positive. So positive means increasing for our derivative. Um, positive derivative means p is increasing. Okay. Now let's try p prime of 3. Plugging in 3, it gives us, so we're plugging into this equation, right? So it's 400 times 2 cubed times ln of 2 minus 100 times 3 cubed times ln of 3. And that gives us negative 700. 48.182 and again we don't really care as much uh, we don't care so much about um, the value as much as we care about the sign so we know it's negative over here meaning 
P of T is decreasing. So this we know is a maximum. Um, so T being 2.283 years will be our maximum population. Okay, so remember we need to check our critical points. We can't assume they're a maximum or minimum unless we see the graph or do the first derivative test. Right, this is the first derivative test. All right, so that ends for us CPM Calculus Chapter 6, Number 76.